we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dad, walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, on Instagram, Facebook. TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just type Boss Talk Podcast 101 in Google, and it will all pop up. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to hop on over to our YouTube channel. Don't only sign, don't only subscribe. We want your membership, okay? How you get to our membership under every video, including this one, description section, there's a link. Click that link. takes you all the way through. Thank you in advance. Man, listen, guys. Y'all heard what she said. Make sure you follow the directions that she gave. <laughs> It, it, she ain't gonna lead you astray, I promise you, man. Listen, we got a special guest in here today, y'all. This woman has been on this show, shutting it down. This up probably about third or fourth interview. What you think? She's a regular, y'all. She be on here, man. And I'm gonna be honest with you, she ain't bring us. I don't know if she got 16, but we'll see. Let's let's get into it, man. Nina Loretta's in the <laughs> building. What's going on? Welcome back on what's Boss up, Talk 101. Up, up, man, how you doing? I'm good. Man, you know, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, every interview now, because the internet has been shut down by Cat Williams, I can't get my stuff to go no more. I was getting a little views. Now Cat come in here. I was really about to just really feel like I could go keep going, but I turned the damn internet on, and this nigga is running an all out 40 yard dash and he runs a 447. He said in that interview like, that he can still run. The nigga ran a 447. I don't know if it was cap. I don't know if they messed with that damn phone. Okay. Yeah. Yes, they had cap. a video. They, okay, a video? A video of, of him running. Cat Williams running and made a, a 447. Damn. This his nigga age. is lying. This is not no age. way in hell. Somebody, somebody get this nigga. You know, somebody come they look at this. They show him you know? running and show somebody else's <laughs> phone. That nigga ran through that whole hard. I said, that can't be cat. It was like a blurred room. He looked like he ran fast. <laughs> Faison told Plus me. Plus they say short people can run. Watch out yeah. now. Faison Love told me that he, he tried to catch that little nigga. He couldn't he catch, catch him. He tried to catch Yeah, well, he was trying <laughs> to whoop him. He, try he tried to whoop that nigga because he pulled a gun on him. Yeah, mm. <laughs> battles. <laughs> <laughs> no, so thank you for coming back on the show, man. Sure. Um, you know, just really like like your music and everything that you do, your whole brand. It ain't just about music no more. Your whole brand, you know. I you can catch you going live around by three in the morning, four in the morning, drunk as hell. We don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, she does that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm up. You know, I get up at three every morning. I can, yeah, every day. Yeah. Uh, so he works at that time. Yeah. So. Yeah. I be up in my, on my computers and I just like, damn, man, Nina Loretta. Ah, oh, damn, there she go because it's going to notify me. I said, this damn girl drunk again every time. <laughs> I mean. Why do you do that? Go live when you get drunk. Because it's like you don't got nobody to talk to. You can get on live and talk to. And people be hopping on at Hell that time? Yeah, because they be probably nine times ten. Drunk like, if I'm too. at the club, they at the club too. And they just not leaving the club too. So they drunk too. Wow. So everybody just drunk. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so basically when you seen uh cat william go off on everybody what did you think about that on that on, on that i think he's absolutely correct i think he's absolutely telling the truth i don't believe nothing is a lie so you of everything that he said come saying. on man so you're telling me everything. you really think this man calculated the fact that the next movie that he played in with with uh with with, with ricky smiley which ricky cried on that uh, mm -hmm. uh that it basically was he was gonna have to wear a dress it was in contract stop it nina Stop it, Nina. Why would he lie to That you this nigga is not calculated it's like for the that. Internet. That nigga's you smart. Think, you think Cat Williams do do that for the internet? I think that you nigga know, hard. Man. I think I think this nigga know how to calculate and he was smart. It was you a think he pulling a Charleston White? He better than him. Charleston White actually is mimicking him. You think? Mm -hmm. His okay. name is Rat Williams. He tried yeah. to be yeah. like right. Rat Williams. Yeah. Right. yeah. So I'm just telling you. The nigga came out. Matter of fact, Rainwater said if if, if Cat Williams continue, continue to come out, that that Charleston was would, would die down because of how much they similar. But he can't do the Cat Williams the way Cat does, which makes sense because Shannon Sharp is at thirty million views in two days. Ain't yeah. nobody else did that on the internet that was except for two more interviews. That's the third most seen somebody interview. 
It's Joe Rogan and one more guy. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that one other guy got fifty four million, and the other one is thirty three million. By this week, he will pass the thirty three million one. Now these guys got them numbers over years. Mm -hmm. He didn't got, got this, this in, in three days, days. Yeah, right? Yeah. So that's crazy. That's legendary. So he shut the internet down. So ain't nobody on the yeah, internet. He ain't hold back. Ain't nobody on the internet. But they came it. fucking with him. <laughs> they did their interview first. So they really can't be mad about him getting on there and defending himself. He just, I guess he just decided, you know what? They want to fuck with me. I'm just going to let it all go. And he's, he been it all go. he's been piled up because all the people who've been talking crap about him been talking it over years and he hadn't said anything. Okay, let's be real though. Have you ever saw any proof that he's on drugs besides weed? There's Let me, never I'm, been no Nina, Nina, I'm gonna stop you right there. Don't come in here. There's never been no Nina, proof. Nina, don't come in here trying to justify what this boy done did. Cat Williams was Listen, he fought a 15-year-old. That 15-year-old choked his ass out. I saw that. You got, who was out here fighting 15-year-olds <laughs> from a sober weed. mind? Weed. <laughs> it could have been the weed. I don't think that he was boy, That shit. little boy was not. That little boy grabbed him by his neck. You want to go back and see it? Choked that's, the that's hell out of him. the only person yeah. that can take him down. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he got the internet in a frenzy right now. Oh, no, no. He dope, man. I ain't going to lie. I told, like, I, I know already. I knew what type of energy he bring he's brilliant he's he's when it come to what he do it ain't nobody really that can touch him when it come to that stage um it's a few man that if anybody could could even be on his level to to just come out and do a better show than him it would be jamie fox yeah, jamie, mm -hmm. I like jamie. jamie fox would be the only one i could see that'll come out and kill that stage with or after him or before him or whatever I and shut it down Matt. Bernie Mac passed mm -hmm. away. That's the only reason I didn't name him. But I'm telling you, Jamie is about the only one that I know. And if anybody else want to comment on this, then get him a comments and let me know. But I don't think nobody else outside of Jamie, you know somebody else that you think could stand up there blow for blow? No. You see what I'm saying? Because the only reason because Jamie sings and he, he got so many elements of him coming on that stage. He act like people. Not He's no, good. Jamie's just funny. Not no Eddie Murphy or none of them. When it come down to what they do in the day on stage, Eddie Murphy is rusty. He ain't been on stage in years. I think he's more funnier in movies. In movies. Now, because he decided not to do it, but you know, he's he going to come Have you out. watched his stand-up like back in the days when he did it? I never watched Eddie Murphy. He going to come out. He's OG, but he, I just... Yeah, he funny. It's yeah, hard to... I'm when a nigga been... What, one. The one thing Cat Williams got us on was he up that night and day. Mm -hmm. So you got to understand, this nigga been touring and running up on that stage every night for a long time. That make mm -hmm. you better, just like Boss Talk One Hundred One been around for. And I think Cat Cat two Williams years with like, three thousand videos up on the internet. Actually, from the hood. I don't think mm -hmm. most of these uh, comedians are from. From the, the hood. hood, no. Is Eddie Griffin from the hood? That nigga, I forgot about Eddie. I was about Griffin. to say, is it Eddie Griffin? He a, he a beast. Bad nigga, man. If you ever went. But to as seen far it. as Cat Williams is, I mean that he's Eddie a little, Griffin from it. He from the hood. He is. Mm -hmm. He from Kansas City, Kansas. That, they got a hood. I don't know about that. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what's the new music, man? Because I know you've been out here killing it, man. What was that video shoot today? Let, let me hear about it. Uh, I had a song called uh, Ride That. Ride That? Yeah. It's a hell of a name. So is it exactly what the name suggests? It's like more New Orleans style because, you know, I'm, I'm from Louisiana. So it's like a New Orleans bounce beat. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. so there's a lot of dancing. Yeah, because I'm trying to get more into, like, because, like, when I went to Bayou Classic, I had ran into a popular DJ from Elson Baton Rouge, and he was just like, you need to come on home and do some stuff and da da da, -da. Who was the DJ? Um, DJ Woody Billions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but he would hit me up, like, well, you need to come home and do some stuff. Let us get Shout you out. popping here, you know. Because he was basically like, I see how Dallas is kind of mad. Because I see all the comments saying, oh, she not from Louisiana. And it was one comment that said, it said, Boosie need to come get her and take her back to Baton Rouge. <laughs> What's the, uh, okay, okay. You know, first of all, you in these comments, you know, I ain't never seen nobody. You answered every damn yeah, comment. You read the other everything. So every that's you the kind of petty. You kind of petty. I am a high head, but I'm trying to control it. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> I'm trying to learn to not read comments. For real. <laughs> that's gonna be hard for you because you always do it. <laughs> she petty as hell. She petty. And how, when I'm you petty. when you be reading it, you really be sitting down there, be mad at these people for it mm -hmm. for what they're saying. She, no, I'm talking like with me and my um. Supposed to be reading them, Kyle. We be laughing. 
Oh, okay. talking shit back that song. It's like the thing is, a lot of shit that I do is to get people started. Like a lot of interviews that I do where I go and say certain shit that I know is gonna get people started. Mm -hmm. That's what I do it for. So I can't go in the comments mad about what they saying and I know exactly what I'm doing when I'm saying it. Okay. So. Okay. Well, well let's, let's get into that a little bit. I mean, we uh we had uh we had South Dallas Kiki on <laughs> on T C U on the come up, which is the baddest, newest piece that comes off of Boss Talk 101 prime time, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she said basically pretty much that when she was asked by the uh, host, mm -hmm. what, did, what did she ask her? Do you remember? Because you the one clipped she, it. Yeah, she said that Rainwater in a recent interview on our show. Yeah, he did. So he, we did ask him who was better. Nina Loretta or South Dallas Geeky because there's a lot of um, controversy where that is concerned. People, some because people say, I didn't hear say both though. I didn't he hear did him say, say no both, party. but he did say her at one point in the interview. No, too. because whenever he we he said both, we're gonna always she gonna made say, him ask. We're gonna who? always say you can't just say both. Who no, you gonna always say that, not me. Who is I don't give a damn. because everybody has their own perspective, and as much as one person might be better in a certain arena, the other person might be better in a different part of it. So it's just clarification. I just needed that clarification. Yeah. Uh, you know, and he did say, um, South boil, Dallas Kiki. boil down and say South Dallas Kiki. Yeah, but it was hard. So there was no easy she, thing. She asked her about that statement. And you know what she said. Well, yeah. at the end of the day, I think the main thing is who going to say somebody better than them? Mm -hmm. Who going to tell you, hey, yeah, she better than me? Ain't nobody feel say that because you ain't really ain't no podcast period better than this boss talk one oh one. Now that now you you know somebody else might say, you know what I'm saying? Man, please, man, these niggas got a million over here. They got this over there. Or that one in LA is this. You understand what I'm saying? But everybody has their opinion on what's the best. And when it comes to me, I don't think nobody else got the angles or the clarity or the cl or the lighting that I got. I think these niggas slipping the cameras, the, the the expenses I pay. I don't think niggas is putting this up like this. I ain't never seen that another niggas podcast in my life, so I don't know what they look like. But in my mind, you can't tell me this ain't the baddest one in the world. See, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> see, my my take on that is like. You're supposed to feel like you're the best, first of all. But I feel like until somebody makes it out, then nobody is really the best. But my thing is, like I said, I'm not in competition with nobody. Like, I feel like I'm in my own lane. Because, like, to be honest with you, with this music game, it's 90% business. It's 10% talent. You can literally rap me. You can literally be able to wrap circles around me. But do you have the full package? Like I said in my last interview, the labels don't care because you can rap better than me. Can they sell you? Like, do you have everything? Can, do you have the looks? What's you everything? Have, you got to have the looks. You got to have the hustle. You got to have the talent. You can't, you, just because you can rap don't mean you're marketable. Like, this is a young generation. The the this is the young people run, running the music shit right now. So, you might can rap, but can you grab the attention of the younger crowd? Can you make marketable music are you marketable like so it don't matter if you can rap better than me but the thing is i know my pen game and a lot of shit like over these years i ain't dropped nothing the shit that i didn't drop that's easy for me like that's literally like uh easy so the shit that i'm about to drop now i know that ain't no female artist in there and i'm not on you know, when are you dropping shit. it i'm making my first drop next week but I'm not letting up on nobody. When I say not letting up, I'm on next this year because I feel like it's now or never with me. It's now or never, so is I'm it, on next. Are you? Is this gonna be an EP or is this gonna be a project? I'm gonna start out with an EP, but I'm 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 gonna keep it rolling with that EP. That EP is gonna be hard enough to get me to the part where I can start Warnley. But like I said, I do feel like it ain't no female in Dallas Fort Worth that can fuck with my pin game. And wow. it's not like it's not like I'm saying I'm trying to beef with nobody. I'm trying to start shit with nobody. If you feel like what I'm saying offends you, if that makes you mad, that means you're insecure with yourself. If you feel like you better than me, why you want to beef with me? Just go get in the studio and, and, and make a better song than me. Go harder than me. If you feel like you better than me, it's a friendly competition. No, I get it. Like if you feel like if you know you hard, go show me you harder than me. But right now, I feel like 
can't nobody go harder than me. And I'm and I got the music to back it up. I got the pin game to back it up. So I'm I'm saying is that, is that Erica Banks included? Because Erica Banks has made waves. Like, huh? She's made waves over at fifteen oh one and you know reality shows and all I, that. She's she's nice. She, so I'm not saying she sucks. You say you're the best though. In order to I, be the best, that mean everybody. I don't feel like it's nobody in Dallas Forward that can fuck with my pin game. Wow. And that's that's facts. Anybody who a day one fan of me knows before I was even signed to Boosie, I my pin game was retarded. Like when I signed to Boosie, Boosie made it clear, this is not what sells. You got to make music that sells. The, it's like the ass shaking, the the stuff that people are doing right now. But if you go back and listen to my old videos, I was talking about my real life, like coming from the projects, having nothing, like talking about relatable shit. That's how I got on. People been on my pin game is stupid. I done flew out to L.A. and all that writing for big artists, the biggest artists right now. My pin game is this sales. Like, my music sells. You can call Jay White on your phone right now. My music will sell. Wow. Like, music that I write Shout for Shout out Jay people. White. Like, facts. That's hard. So That's yeah, real I, hard. I can really, I can write for five. Di- I can get in the room with six people and write for everybody, including myself, and everything will go hard. Wow. That's, that's dope. That's remarkable. Man, so when you think about just, you know, Dallas, it really got an open lane when it comes down to it. You really don't have a lot of, uh, you don't really have a lot of, you know what I mean, just uh, people, you know, that that sticks out. You know what I mean? I think the thing is, it's, it's a lot of artists that are nice, a lot of artists that go hard, but nobody's making hits. Nobody's making real songs. Everybody's making retarded ass, simple ass ABC hooks, or they making songs where they just rapping all the way through. Nothing is BET awards. Like besides the boy, what's the boy that's going viral right now? Four bets. Yeah, he's a, he's star material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know him. Never. I'm not even gonna lie. I never heard of him a day in my life before this song. It went viral, but he is star quality. Mm. And like, and that's the type of music you need to be going for if you want to make it past local. And a lot of people have a big head right now, but I don't see them going past local. You might get local fan, you might get local buzz, you might be known as a city as you're a good rapper, but go out of the city, nobody know who the fuck you are. And that's as far as you're gonna make it. You you let your head get big off local fame, and that's as far as you're going. Wow. So I know South Dallas Kiki has been a point of discussion. Like, would you do a track? Rain is saying he want to get y'all on the same track and see who go the hardest. I offered that when we was in the. If you go look at your comments on that no, video, I, y'all I, posted, seen it. I said it. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's, do, let's, let's do something together. Now, it, ain't no, it ain't no beef with me, but I feel like if you trying to beef with somebody because they say they go harder than you, you're insecure in your own pin game. Like, if, if somebody come tell me, Nina, I go harder than you, okay. Let's go to the studio. Like we ain't gotta. I ain't gotta beef with you because you think you go hard at me. Let's go to the studio. Like uh, prove. Let me prove you wrong. Uh, but you mentioned pen game a lot. You said pen pen game a lot. But to me, is it has a lot more than just the pen game. It has to do with the rapping, the deliverance, the everything, yeah, so, the whole package. So my thing is, everybody who knows me, my day one fans, and everybody around me. So I started out writing poetry. I wasn't rapping. I remember first, you so said that before. When I was twelve, I was writing poetry and shit, and like. These dudes in my city, they found me and my cousins, and they, like, we transferred to rapping. And it was a point where I was rapping, I mean, writing for all of us. So, like I said, I started writing poetry. So when I write, it's a deeper process to me. I'm, like, I'm I'm replaying stories in my head and putting it on paper. And you got to think, for so many years, I wasn't dropping music. I was sitting in my room by myself for hours, sitting in the front room by myself for hours just playing beats playing with my voice, playing with my delivery. That's why if I go, anybody that work with me and they see this right now, they can vouch for you. When I go in the studio, I'm a, I'm like this, like my delivery, my everything, because I've been studying this shit for years. I didn't just wake up and say, I want to rap. I studied it because it's, it's like rapping is something that I was always more passionate about, but I lost my passion because I went from, like when you're when you're a person who transforms from poetry to rap, your lyrics are a little deeper. But when you're told to dumb your lyrics down, it's like I don't know how to do that. Right. So I've heard other people had that problem before. Yeah. So anybody that work with me can tell you I'm one of the artists. Like they work with other female artists, they gotta work on their delivery. They gotta work on this, work on that. 
I'm going to go and I know how my delivery go. I know how to break shit down. I know how to breathe in between. I really studied this shit. I ain't just been doing this for studying it for two, three years. I can literally go in the studio and when I say I can wrap circles around a bitch because I studied it. Like, I don't just want to do it to get money. I studied this. Already. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to see how much you study when we get you on this track, nigga. A lot of niggas holler about they study this and all that. You think you're Tupac, little sister or something in this home. I am. That's and why that's I got what, on my leg. I see that's why you're you trying to come at me Period. with. you try to go hard on me right there with that. I, I know you can rap because you done rapped in here with me before. But, you know, at the end of the day, South Dallas Kiki got some, she got some go get, you know. I want to hear, I want to hear something. Like I said, it's other girls. That Be All The Truth girl they mentioned, you know what I'm saying? Now, I will say Be All The Truth so, is it's a person. bunch of them like it's a bunch yeah, of them I want to get like on the her. same mm -hmm. track and see I want more than just you and uh, South Dallas Kiki that's what I told him the other night I'm trying to get me one together so my thing it. is I'm not a competition number like I can I, can, I like to do a cypher that's why something like yeah. that or a mic check with all so five so I done reached out to girls that I see in the city that's upcoming that be on like Key Talk Media and shit yeah, yeah. and they didn't ask me for features and I'm, I'm giving them features for free like I'm talking to these girls I'm helping coach them like I'm giving them advice that's hard I never met them I just see their upcoming so I am a people person but it's like I feel like anybody who's in this rap game looking at the next person's competition I never in my life said nothing to Kiki never did nothing wrong to her for her to even feel some type of way about me but I'm a, I always I don't think she, she said you talk no. down on the city and she did say you talk I down. On, you talk down on the city is what was said. Now I, I know I, I was here that day. I didn't. Have you ever talked down and on she Dallas? She said she liked your music. I didn't. Have you ever talked down on Dallas, Texas? <laughs> no. You know me, I like in the oh, Dallas Dallas. No, the post, the post was on my page, and I don't even want to rebring her old shit. But so you knew what she was talking about. Yeah, I knew what she was talking really? about. But she took it wrong because I never said. Dallas rap, Dallas rappers suck. I said Dallas rap scene is so dry right now. They're like, like you said, the rap scene is open. I said the rap scene is so dry right now that they're accepting anybody that can go put say ABC on a beat and put a hard video on it. They're accepting you as long as your video hard. That's what I said. And I was into it with a specific person. Okay. Me and that specific person I was talking about had an argument all day that day. And everybody that follows me knows that. So that's okay. why when she said I'm talking down on rappers, I said name one artist in Dallas, Fort Worth that I talked down on. What's the artist I was talking about? It's not even from Dallas, Texas at all. I ain't even from Texas at all. So I told her, name the artist that you're talking about that I was talking down on. I ain't got a name to this day. Wow. I also told her, name the person who said, I'm a hater, I'm this, I'm that. When we got into that argument under them comments, everybody that was coming are people who don't like me. People who have been picking with me for three years now. So I'm like, is your, I mean, your advice can't, I mean, whatever you're hearing this from, it can't be credible if it's somebody who don't like me already. Of course, they're going to tell you the worst things. Yeah, because wow. I don't think she did. I'm not sure, but I don't think she actually went and did research like on your page or anything like that to see what I you said. I think it's hearing what somebody said. That's yeah, what she said. I saw her interacting with people who don't like me under those right. comments. So at that point, I'm saying in my head, that's who hmm, she now got I know from. where you got like, you, you're not credible at this point. If I ask somebody about you that don't like you, what you think they're going to tell me? Mm -hmm. The worst things they could possibly tell me. Right. Wow. You know, the thing is, like I said, um, great talent. I ain't going to lie to you. To me, it's, it's nothing. To, it's something that puts eye on the talent. When Rainwater says something or when we ask a question, I like the fact that the, the, the eye is on the talent. You guys are talented. I want the best out of y'all, to be honest with you. I really want some good music. Y'all bring the best music that I've heard in Dallas, period. I'm going to be real with you. Them the two, y'all the two consistent ones putting stuff out, working. And, and that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real for a minute. I really, like I said, I seen her and I never let her even come on the show early on because of my kin folks. She already know that. But the thing is, when I when I would see her, I cringe at the fact because she was steadily dropping and she was getting momentum and she was going over here. And I'm like this. One. And I was calling you, of course. You've been coming to see me for a while now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I was it's like, damn, you know, like and it, and, and it's a thing where. I really want to see the best talent. I want to see the city rise. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the right people. You know what I'm saying? To, to make this thing bubble. 
And I think I think you I guys are dope. Like, man. I don't think I'm. I don't. I don't feel like I'm being a fucked up person or starting shit because I said can't no female in Dallas Fort Worth fuck with me. I feel like what I'm trying to do if I'm telling y'all y'all can't fuck with me. I'm basically trying to make y'all hoes motivation. Rap, we all finna rap Motivation. Shit, I'm calling y'all out. Like, shit, Motivation. If you harder than me, show me. Get we, on your we job. We got a beef. We can shake hands. We can club. Like, we can take shots together and all that, but you're not harder than me. That's hard. That's hard. That's that. Okay. Let me get on the light. Enough. We, we may circle back, but um, Boosie, that's who you were rocking with. Mm-hmm. He went to see Color Purple. <laughs> yeah, nigga, did you see Color Purple? No. Well, he walked out. It's called. Did you go see it? Cause what he said. He said he, he walked out cause it was it was it was some things going on in this movie that he felt like was trying to persuade people into a position of making a choice in pretty much you know what type of sexuality they gonna have. Pretty much, <laughs> if you want to be real about it. Like, did you hear him say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so crazy. <laughs> you don't walk out on the color purple. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it was never no gay shit. Like it was. That. Who was gay in color Shook purple? Shook Avery and Whoop and, and that girl. Uh, uh, they was gay in the first movie? Yeah. Yeah. They were kissing you know in the first movie. Kissed? You don't know Whoopi Goldberg and Whoopi Goldberg. Then she the in the juke joint. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when they kissed. So all they did was kiss. No, all, we, all we seen was the kiss. It, it was a little in bit the of. the first one, yeah. You notice when she left, the, the girl dropped dead. She fell out when the woman left. That's how good it was to her. Like, she, <laughs> she fell out. When when when, when Shug Avery left with her husband, well, the first time when she left, she had a, but she thought she was going to go with him. And, and, and Danny Glover said, hell no. Yeah, I'll do this to you. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, I ain't yeah, saw it. I yeah. Gotta see you gotta, you gotta, I gotta see it. what's so gay. You know, I, you know, I ain't seen that one yet, but uh, yeah, that first one, you know, it, I heard it's not as bad. That as first one, a tear jerker. Like that first one, a tear jerker for me. Yeah. On the part when them, when them boys come back from Africa, kids that mess with me a little bit every time. Oh lord. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go see the Man, man. So and somebody else said, why would we want to go watch movie about slavery when, you know, our people had to deal with slavery for so long? Why would yeah. we want to go? Why would you even want to act as a slave when your ancestors were slaves? I don't I don't play that. Like, I ain't, I don't play about my ancestors. Like, I study Ifa and, you know, that's my religion. So it's like. What is Ifa? Never heard is a, um, <laughs> it's an African religion. You should you should look it up. Like I, I encourage all people to. Um, what 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 is that riddle? Tell me about it. Um, so if I was like it's um, it's sort of like a hoodoo, you know, like voodoo hoodoo, but it was created with, within our ancestors to get away from I slave knew you, masters. I knew you were on that voodoo. I knew that. <laughs> now, I, I was so trying not to. I was trying not to let you come back on boss talk, but some just keep calling I, I, every time. I damn, let me call Nina. Like all nah, through the so night, like, I knew it was a hex on me. I don't do. I don't do voodoo. You got like a little dog? Like, no, nah, I don't believe in voodoo. Okay, well, like, I'm just saying, Louisiana folks are known for it, yeah, and Jamaicans. Yeah, Louis, yeah, Louisiana and Jamaica. Jamaicans. But like, no. Nah, Lord have is, mercy, I got my. Let her talk. talk. <laughs> Ifa is hoodoo. That's I don't. Why. I don't believe in voodoo because if you do voodoo, it's always like I don't care what's the situation. It's always coming back mm-hmm. ten times stronger. So whatever you do to somebody, it's gonna hit you worse. So you gotta be a miserable motherfucker to be putting voodoo on people but what I study is E5 it's like white magic so it's like protection against the people who I, cause I ain't gonna lie to you voodoo is becoming popular like it's a lot of people you wouldn't even think into that shit that's putting spells on people like mm. in even in this area like a lot of people are doing that shit and they don't care that it's coming back like <laughs> so you wow. can see certain things and you can feel certain things yeah I feel like I was um so you felt like something like has anybody ever done anything like that to you? Yeah, that's why I got into it. I was in Louisiana. I was living in Louisiana when um a lady had put voodoo on me and I uh found out about it, but I didn't know about it. I just knew that my life did turn like upside down instantly. But like What did she do? Put a potato under your step? I know, like actually me what and my baby do? daddy had an apartment. Um we walked my baby daddy walked outside one day and it was like a it was like a bag of marbles, 
in front of our door, like a bag of black marbles. And we didn't know what was going on. Of course, we was like younger, but like right right after that, like I was I was doing good. Like I was 17 going on 18. I had my own apartment. I had a job making 14, 14 an hour with my mama. Like we had a nice part, all that. I had a car and everything at 17. But it's like as soon as we walked outside and saw that bag of marbles and his dumb ass brought it in the house, like showing oh. me like what is, what is this? And That's I what got you right there. But when I tell you life flipped upside down, but it's like I don't know. It's like I don't. It. it, it I don't know. I don't know the extent. Of How what did you was break it? How did you break well, it? Well, when I. St it's like. It's like I didn't even try to get into it. It's just like it was stone in my face. Like it how did you like, break it? I'm trying to get to that. So it's like, I don't know. Slowly, I started getting into learning the shit. And I wasn't even trying. It's just I see commercials. I see books. I start reading books. I start watching shows and da -da -da, more getting into it. And it's like, it's like I had some psychic abilities when I swear to God. Like, I know shit. I dream shit. And it'll actually happen. I had, like... I could damn near can't even be lies. It's like I could damn near see through. I don't know. I just had abilities that I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And how old were you at this time now? Um, This probably was like 19. I remember. So like, two I years. I swear to God, this was the weirdest shit. And I remember it to this day. It was this boy in my city. And his name was just popular in my city. I never saw this boy a day in my life. But I was at my grandma's house one day. And I saw a boy across the street from my grandma's house. And I said, you know what? He, it looked like he, that could be his name. And I called the name. I was behind a bush. I remember like yesterday I was behind a tree and I called his name. And he said, huh? I said, what the fuck? That's really him? Like, I just looked at him and said that, he, that looked like it could be his name. And that was really that boy. And I, I started having dreams and shit. And it's like all my dreams would come true. It's like I get like I randomly picture people face in my dreams and randomly wake up like I see the face and wake up or I hear the name and wake up and it and then weeks later I find out that person doing something to me or that person saying something it was like weird shit but like the more I start studying the more I start getting clarity with the divine and start getting closer to ancestors I ain't gonna lie I burn candles I do stuff to talk to ancestors and stuff like that like I'm guided like every move I make and I'm trying to get better with that because I feel like I'm punished by the ancestors if I don't let them guide me like, like you do like a seance type of thing where you you know like when you're in movies and you see them light the candle in like a mm -hmm. circle and you sit down and you yeah, but that's the thing about E five. If you don't, if you don't go by the guidelines, you will be punished. Like so, if I do stuff against my spirit that I know is not right, I will be punished for that. So it's like basically, I gotta talk to the spirits with every move. So that's I make. how you broke it, huh? Is talking to the spirits? No, that's how you like broke? how I broke the voodoo. Yeah. is protection. I started learning about. I started learning about voodoo and stuff, and I started learning the power of blah blah blah. I know how to do it, but I just don't do it. But mm -hmm. it's like. I did a protection spell. I got a protection spell on me from my Haitian godmother. I have a godmother that's Haitian. She stays in Haiti and all that. And she actually does um, E5. She does all that stuff, you know, sacrifices, all that. So she she protected me. So um, she taught me how to protect myself, like, and how to make, you know, protection of my house, myself, da 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 Like, I just been in situations where me and my dude and been shot at and we leave without a scratch every time like four times in a year does like, Ifa believe in god yeah Ifa is just another word for god okay i'm wow. just asking i yeah. didn't i don't know yeah it's just another word for god wow oh, man that's deep that's heavy that's real heavy um <laughs> wow uh you guys um so when you think about just music on the whole when you look at Honeycomb Brazy, mm -hmm. how fast he went back. Have you ever seen any rapper go back to prison that fast? Back to the feds, just boom, boom, back. Carter, you remember he was out for a month and went back. You talking about your husband? I'm not talking. Your husband ain't make no damn <laughs> his son. That nigga oh, all you in your right? damn mind. <laughs> that nigga, all that nigga. Your husband and went back, nigga. We know that nigga went back. That nigga ain't made now to it. This is how they gone crazy. Okay, yeah. Okay, so. Stop it. Nina Loretta been brainwashed by the prison system. <laughs> damn. <laughs> they got her. She writing them damn letters so much. She over here doing an interview. And I don't write letters. Oh, okay. <laughs> but she, she made calls. Well, so so let's be real. Like, 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 have you seen anybody that 
come out with that much potential and then just go back. Like, yeah, like that's the, famous. The, the, uh, it's, I hadn't, but you might know somebody that just came. Brandon says went. twenty-seven days a turnaround. I just tripped me out because I was trying to figure out. Like, I actually never saw that. That that somebody who had that much potential, like this dude, could have made. Fifty thousand a show, you know I what I'm feel saying? Like he Seven, crashed his Sixty thousand a show, thirty thousand a show. Now this nigga, he never did even get to do a show, did he? Mm-hmm. He just did he videos. Did. Did. Oh yeah, he did just yeah. videos. But like, I feel like he crashed himself out. He got out of jail on the bullshit instead of saying I'm a chill. You know, I'm gonna come home. Um, and get my put, drop my music and get on the ball. He came on choosing violence. Like I'm a bully for this. Damn, you know. Finesse had had basically um, had uh, kind of I don't know it seemed like Finesse kind of didn't talk about it as much when he was locked up he didn't even say nothing but then when that once that nigga went in I seen Finesse come out and just start you know what I'm saying like uh, popping it and this, I mean you know like now I ain't saying he yeah. was popping it because of that but I'm saying he maybe just didn't want to interact with him about it. But I know as soon as he went in, that's when I seen a live. I like, damn, that go my boy. I mean, the way it looked, I ain't gonna say that was the situation, but the way it looked to us, the people, it looked like you were scared. You, you, and you, you, then, found, you felt the same thing, like I didn't see him. Yeah, it's like you was you was on mute when he was out, but now that he in, you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Yeah, I it was why maybe he just didn't want to add. But you know. Honeycomb just said on the internet that finesse is in his paperwork. He filed a complaint against them. What? Yeah, you didn't see the interview? No, I, didn't I mean, see not it. interview, but uh, what do you on have his a, page. Oh, he got somebody posted on his page? Yeah. Oh, he got a cell phone in there. You know how you, he, you, know, you know how your boys do. You know? <laughs> he probably got his manager or something. But I think he got what? He got caught with guns. So he, well, he, it, he was in the car with his security guard, and I heard they had, you know, guns. But they the, had. The judge don't give a fuck. I, they, they going federal. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, man, and that, that, that's crazy because he got so he had a lot of potential. He could make, you know, what I'm saying he could have been, he had a lot of potential, man, to to do a lot of big shows, to to basically come out here and really run the game. I think he had an opportunity. He could have came out here really this time and run the game. You know, you got. I but, thought that was gonna But happen. you gotta understand though, when you seen Rollo come home. Look how he came out. It was a stretch limo out there, a truck so long, and he was talking about. Ah, da, 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 da. You seen the interview? I mean, the but video. You still here. And then who else? You and Finesse came out. He came out in a private jet. Private jet. It's all about how you come out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's certain people that came out, and it's like you got to come out and say, "What do you think, Pooh is going to come out? How you going to come out? Is he ever getting? I don't right? know. He probably be coming home pretty soon. I think he, he gonna pop out here. on us. He gonna pop out. I wonder if Gucci gonna do it big with him. Yeah, he's still fucking with he him. He gonna do it big with him. Uh, what I heard Pooh Shots bought a whole Lamborghini from jail. Damn, man. So he gotta be still having his He out here doing his thing. <laughs> and he ain't even out here. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. Yeah. So who you who who you like? You you a sexy red fan? I like Let's be real. Well, I don't just li- I don't never just turn it on in my car. Or Let's in be my real. House. I don't never I never turned it on. So you don't really rock with her like that. I will listen to it if I hear you, it like if, on the internet. If you you don't be like put on that sexy red. Never. Why? Honestly, it's just I rather say put on that Kendall man. Oh, you not? Yeah, yeah. That's your style more. Yeah. Yeah. You like that <laughs> Cash Doll. I like Cash Doll. You like Cash Doll? Cash Doll is underrated. That motherfucker's hard. Wow. Yes, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Like, you are, you one of them, per, I, I listen to you when it comes to music. I'm a, yeah. You'll make a nigga go research. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the thing, though. A lot of niggas, I mean, a lot, a lot of men listen to my music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's yeah. mostly a clientele? No, it's, no, it's, it's, a, it's, mo- it's, it's, it's a lot of men looking at him. He look, oh, he said looking at you. Yeah, See, looking at him. Yeah, them niggas looking. Yeah, them looking. They looking. You For see sure. them on your live. You know it ain't all them women like. like oh, let me see how she look. No, it's yo. like most of them will say they'll be like, my looks grabbed their attention and made them go listen. But when they listen, they was like, oh, she actually she care about me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the good thing about it that you really you really take your craft serious. Who would you like to work with before we get y'all for here? Um, Anybody, male or female? Webby. 
I think you told me that before. You like yeah. Go Webby, don't you? I'm still trying to get him on my song. So, so you think I talked to his uh people. So what's taking so long? They told me to um the people Trill Entertainment. They told me to um keep pushing the original version about that. Let it get a buzz, and then we'll do the feature. Yeah. Got it. Wow. Um, is he your favorite out of out of out of the Louisiana area? I out ain't gonna lie, Webby is that one. Is he the one? Is he your favorite? To- I ain't gonna lie. If I had to choose out of all Louisiana artists, like what, how, like how many songs could you sing word for word of theirs? It'd be Boosie and Webby, like word for word. Is it Boosie or Webby? I could sing more Webby songs. I figured that because that that Savage Life One and Two got your butt. Savage used to be. I, I already know what got you. I got me too. Man. That's why I know. I know what got you. I he ain't was crazy. Ahead of his time, he was eighteen rapping like that. Yeah, he was and, we, and was crazy with it. Mm-hmm. Real crazy with it. Do you think that? Um, and I'm gonna ask you this because I gotta ask you these are questions that I just rumble off with. So uh, before you get off of here, um, how do you think P did it gonna turn out after all this is said and done? Why he your face be- look like that? When no, you no, 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 no. Everything. That's cool. Did you see Cat Williams? He said he had to tell that man no. That man I, wanted I Cat to, booty hole. I told you to quit believing everything Cat done said on this damn that man. man wa- Cat, you know that nothing on the internet is a hundred percent true. Yeah, but I know Diddy like men's books. I didn't. How ask you know you that? You that. were right there. No, I wasn't right that there. That ain't what I asked it's you. Too many people saying it. I ain't say if he did it or if he didn't do it. I what just was asked the question you again? How, <laughs> what, how is it gonna turn out? How do you think you'll come out at the end of the time? Really? You think so? R. Kelly ain't had that P. Diddy money. I don't think so. He'll, well, he he was, Diddy do got a different kind of it's money. It's a different kind yeah. of money. I think, well, to he, be realistic, I think his money going to save him. Do you think? Cause, cause Why you remember, was he trying to pull T.D. Jakes into all of this? Not, you know what? I don't believe nothing against that man. <laughs> oh, she knows. She, <laughs> people, that man people, did not people, do that. Hey, T.D. Jakes is not doing it. These niggas not. Niggas is, that, that nigga stood up in that red suit. That nigga said, wait a minute. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Uh, I got the truth and the truth and the truth. And it was over. Yeah, it was over. I him. don't believe <laughs> none of those allegations against that man. <laughs> no, you ain't playing by T.D. Jakes. They gonna leave that nigga past alone. He ain't going. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna go to war behind the past. They gonna have to leave him alone. That's that's not true. They not gonna bring Shout that good black Jakes, man down. Man. Like no. Jake's the war, man. Boy, if anybody yeah. they gonna stand up. Boy, folks don't play by Jake. Everything Jakes. about P Diddy. Yeah, but they not gonna bring that other good black man down. Like no. Ah, <laughs> Jake's is not going. You know what I'm saying? That he is not going today. She is not trying to hear. Okay, okay. Ti and Tiny. There's some big toe action going on that they they they, they alluding to on my boy Tip. What what's up? I believe everything against them. Why? I I just believe that they they what did they say that they pick up girls and have threesomes and make them do freaky stuff. I believe it. What movie we watched? What we watching the movie last night? Working. About this little girl that came home and she said, "Oh, he's an actor," and then the woman started going crazy. <laughs> I, that's the part I don't like. Like. I really think that people be out here going the extra mile for celebrities. I know because we've seen them as we, they line up from here to all the way up that damn road trying to see them and get next to them. And then when they do, they do crazy stuff with them. And I think it's weird. And I, I've been around it forever. And because it's just a one and night thing. And I think thing. it's sad. You know what I'm saying? I and think it's really I sad. Saying. I think it's hard. So what, sad. I think, I think nothing is wrong with the allegations against T.I. Nothing's wrong with a wife and a husband. I, I would rather my husband fuck females with me than to go behind my back. So we if we have threesomes and that's our thing, we're a married couple. So it ain't your business if we like to fuck hoes and send them by their business. That's what we like to do. But I feel like, like she said, it's probably females who was groupies. Mm-hmm. They picked them up, took them home, fucked them. Yeah, you got to go. We had our fun. Bye. But like, they want to be there still. They want to yeah, stay there. Yeah, they probably want to, oh, I want to be your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to do this or that. Like, what's wrong with these married people having threesomes? Because I know if, when I have threesomes, you not finna stay and kick it and chill. Like, once we finish having fun, then do we need to get you an Uber? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what are we sitting and talking about? You not finna be in this relationship. We just will call you if we want you again. Like. And they couldn't handle the disconnect. Most people like, oh, 
they probably couldn't handle the disconnect. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with what they was doing. I think people just made a big deal, like, oh, that's what y'all doing. But a lot of people on the internet, they'll judge other people's situation, but they sitting on their ass, commenting on your life with a living a miserable life. <laughs> very miserable life. Very, that's why they're very sitting there miserable. commenting on your life because their life is miserable. And so. you in them comments right with them. You get bad with them. In them <laughs> yeah. Cause, cause, you don't play with them. Like, you get any oh. damn comments if you want to. I got it for you. Yeah, because the thing is, I can't be exposed. What Anything I do, I know exactly what I was doing, when I was doing it, how I was doing it. I agreed to do it and I had a blast. I will probably do it again. Damn. So it ain't nothing nobody can come out and say, Nina did. Yeah, I know I did it and I had fun and I would probably do it again. <laughs> let's talk. Well, since you're talking about doing it again, let's talk about your surgeries and stuff. Like you, the surgery queen. When are you I supposed really, to get something taken never, out? I have never. Listen, I'm going and um, I, I have never April. had. You, oh, you are going to do it. Well, see, y'all yeah. cutting me off. I'm trying to get my question in. <laughs> I'm trying to figure. I ain't never had nobody with the breast and the butt and the, have that I know of. They was good with it. If, who else we interview like that? Nobody else? Because we don't really just, we not really far out. Real, um, what's real her name? Country. Have, real, she real, had, uh, she got who? boobs and butt too. Um, I'm real country. I'm real country. money. Who? Don't take money. Don't take money. She got boobs and butt. I never saw her in person. She oh, you never seen her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she got... She, she got yeah, some work yeah, done. She got work done. But you told me you was never going to exercise. You're going to cut it off. You're not going to exercise. You told me that. I, I never started. forget it. I you said, started. I'm never exercising. I'm going to cut this stuff off Yeah, me. you said you were going to Oh, she got to fly with me in here one day. So, are you still cutting instead of working? No, yeah, she said I'm, she working out. I'm actually out. getting into working out. It, it ain't even about working what out. What made it's you how do it? It make your body feel like it make you just feel better. But what made you do it? I ain't gonna lie, I ain't been consistent with it. I <laughs> went, I went for one week and quit because he was doing me too bad. He was killing me. I had a trainer. He was not being nice. But that's their job. I know, but I just was dying. <laughs> She's like, I ain't going back. I said, you know what? I got to prepare for this. I got to mentally prepare. You, it was crazy. I wasn't prepared. I just woke up one day and said, you know what? Let's start training. And he's a great trainer. But not tell you, you're going to leave there thinking you got a six pack that night when he finished <laughs> with you. Yeah. What's that? What's the name of that EP one more time? The one that's coming out next week? I don't. I ain't dropping an EP next week. I'm dropping I mean, you're a dropping single. a video single. 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 Yeah, 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 what's the name of the video? I'm sorry. I cut um, that out. It's yeah. called uh, Ride That. And then immediately after that, I'm going to drop this song called Girls Just Want to Have Fun. But the thing about Girls Just Want to Have Fun, I recorded this song three years ago. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Nicki Minaj just dropped the version a month ago. But me and her versions are different. Hers is more like pop, you know, girly, girly. Mine is more like hood, drug dealers, shit like that. So it's two different lanes. So I just feel like she already dropped hers. So I, I got to Like, I had already planned to drop it. We just was writing a treatment and trying to get a treatment together. So it's like, and then, damn, she dropped with a version. But I listened to her version. I'm like, oh, it's two complete different lanes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just still going to drop mine. Do, do you, are you a Nicki fan? Oh, I love Nicki. If Nick, who, I love who you Nikki's, pick, Nicki or Cardi? So somebody was just asking me about this when I was um, getting my makeup did, and they was like, it, you know, if Cardi came, if, if it was an opportunity for me to do a feature with Cardi, would I take it? And I ain't going to lie. Most people wouldn't say this, trying to get in the industry, but I would I would not take a Cardi feature because... What? Because you hope to get a Nicki. I want a Nicki. And, and the reason I say, because I, I was a kid, like, rapping Nicki word for word. So you're telling me you, you would not do a verse with Cardi because you think that would make it to where Nicki wouldn't do something with you? Yeah, I love Nicki so much to the point where if Nicki, like, if I was coming up and Nicki diss me or something, I would tell her, Nikki, just just take it back. I don't I don't want to do this with you. Like I can't picture myself having a problem with you. Like I know every song. So it's like I, I'm not gonna be one of them fake fans that go from being a fan to oh we beefing. I would tell her like, no, what what is your I problem? Know. Take it back. Would you, <laughs> like, if you get if you if you seen her, would you like would you bow down to uh -uh, her? I ain't on no goopy shit with her. It's like No, I, she bowed down to Lauren Hill. No, I don't think I would. She down. she got down and she said, "Wait." Because she gave her, I would give her, her flowers, she loved, but, but she I like, would. Let me just. She and it's not her. like she worshipped her because she did that. She just wanted to show her pr that I really, 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 uh, 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 really adore you and what you stand for. Now I would do that to Mia X. 
Oh, oh, you about yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and you talking I about love that. Me your ex. Like, so, so you, you, you love Nikki, but but not to the limit not to of me. Me, me, me your ex. ex is like my inspiration, Mama. Like that's my inspiration. I think she here in Dallas. I remember I told you that last time. I would. So that's probably the only female rapper I, I would meet. I that think, I would, didn't I, I, I send her stuff to you? Would cry. I would cry if I meet me an ex. Like, I think I sent it to her. I'm pretty sure I sent her stuff. Your stuff to her. The last time when you talked about her on here, because I, I sent it to, I, I'm pretty sure I sent it to KLC, and I'm pretty sure he sent it to I would love to, to be there when you're doing that, because I want to see. <laughs> if I ever <laughs> interview her, which I am linked to them, you know I'm linked to them. Yeah. If I ever interview she her, gonna be on time I'm going to bring you with me. <laughs> I'm going to be through the I don't doors. care if I'm in, I don't care if I'm in Vegas. I don't care if I'm in New Orleans. I'll fly you down there just because of how much you always say that. And a lot of people gonna see this that. and say, who is me or X? And them the type of people I would get in the comments and argue with. I'm gonna like, send, matter of fact, I'm going to clip this out <laughs> and send it to KL too. What's your favorite song for me and X? I'm shining. <laughs> That's my song. I actually DM'd her and asked for her permission to redo, redo the song. Redo her song. Did she what say she anything? Said? She didn't. She, ain't she gonna had say her nothing. messages on where like, Everybody can't message her like she got to approve. Why you didn't email that was before her? you met me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. you should yeah. try emailing her. Yeah, but I, I didn't. I wasn't even thinking about doing a song. Like a lot of people from my hometown sending it to me. Like you should redo me because they know I love me. Yeah, so it's like you should redo. I'm shining. So I listen. I was listening to this song over and over. Like I really want to. What's the favorite this. verse of Mia X? Mm -hmm. That really just touched you, or you thought it was hard? I'm gonna say I'm shining. It's just her vibe in there, like when they came in the club. Yeah, it's like some some boss shit, <laughs> like for real. Wow. Like if you watch I'm Shining video, she just yeah. Wow. Well, uh, we we winding down. Mm -hmm. I'm shining, and I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Uh, if I when it, she already said when she started interviewing, pretty much she was gonna she, she gonna, gonna rock with me. So we just gotta wait till she ready. When she ready. Man, you I just gotta listen you. how she was on them tracks with them niggas and she was eating I, them up I remember. every time. I remember. She was eating them up. People no, love. I just love to hear the stories about her when um, any of the New Orleans artists with um, No Limit, they talk about her and talk about how she was like their mom, the way how she would look out for them and stuff. I just love to she hear all the stories. Everybody had a story. Everybody had them Silk stories. Silk the Shocker, uh, um, shoot, Moby Dick, um, Kale, um, everybody that we interviewed had a story. Um, my boy Big Court, everybody from No Limit that I've interviewed, I always talk. Theme, all of them talk highly about the way Me that yes. mother instinct is as far as around them that kept them unified mm -hmm. like that and kept them feeling like they really almost to a point of where it felt like sh they couldn't miss home mm -hmm. because she made outside of being at home a home. And I think that's hard. I yeah, think, I think that's lie. She's like the only female. Yeah. Like she, so she probably was like mama to them. Do GD ever like, post you? Who? GDP down in New Orleans. Always, yeah. Okay, I'm finna say, GD, supportive. you better make sure you posting. Hey, Nina Loretta, that you, hey. <laughs> that's my boy, yeah, you know. Yeah, he real supportive. That's my guy, man. I'm actually finna go to New Orleans for like a week and a half or so and work with my kill. You gonna give him an interview down there? Yeah. I'm gonna set up your interview with GD. Yeah, I I talked to. Oh, y'all already talked. Like, okay, I, I, well, I hey, want to make do a video down there too. Do something down yeah. there, in New Orleans. I you got do to. One on bourbon. Mm -hmm. And I'm going down there for Mardi Gras. I was about to say, Mark, you should do a video around Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. time. Talk to Little Soldier Slim. Did all yesterday. that in the background? That'd be dope. Yeah, yeah, I know him real good. He was with BG yesterday. They they, they was they in Vegas. In Vegas. Yes. I don't feel like BG this way. I feel like he, he wasn't. Was, that's just the way he talk, man. That's just him, man. In Louisiana, we call everybody bitch. Yeah, but but he know what it was going to do, man. This dude been doing this forever. I don't even get excited over niggas doing whatever. I just listen to the music and enjoy it. That's it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But thank you for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? Uh, Instagram, Nina Loretta. Facebook, Nina Loretta. Twitter, at the Nina Loretta. Music um, on all streaming platforms, Nina Loretta. And wow. Nina, you need to wear your natural look more often. Because I, I was scrolling her through is your page, Everybody and I'm cool. like, you don't need the makeup. You don't need the weave. I'm like, why don't you rock your natural beauty more often? Say as a woman that I always be putting that. makeup Shut on. Say as a woman that I always... I, I don't definitely don't need it. I do the same thing. I don't have my makeup now. Well, but you do it all the time. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, it's been some years. But when will you start doing that? I'm, I'm going to start wearing my natural hair more because it got to the point where I was wearing so much weave. When I wore my natural hair, people thought it was weave. I'm like, right. this is my hair. They were like, oh, what? 
<laughs> I'm like, yeah, people didn't even know I was mixed unless I have my natural hair in. Yeah, like, like, you mixed that's how what? I knew. Why you Indian. Like Indian? I knew you were gonna say yeah. Indian. Yeah, niggas like always got to say Indian. All the niggas. I don't know if these <laughs> your cousins. You my daddy. These niggas your cousins. My daddy is blacker than her shirt, but he has the goodest, most silkiest, longest, prettiest hair. The wavy hair. Yes, the wavy kind, curly, but in blacker than he blacker than black. Yeah, yeah, wow, that's crazy, <laughs> man. And your mama real light skin? She white? Yeah, she's white and black, but she's more of the white side. Mm. Yeah, but I have a whole white family. Like my grandma's white, my mom's blood brother. He's all white. But, you know, she had them black kids after that white baby. So. I knew you was white with that little pointy nose, man. Shout out to me <laughs> with that pointy white nose in the building. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, Nina, as always, man. Appreciate too. you coming back. I know we're going to do this again. We don't stay gone. For Next sure. time you're going to have a 16 bars. I got you. Man, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out.